All right, this is part two of modeling the Sony Walkman, and I, I should say right from the outset, it's not going to look exactly like it. Um, it's going to look like some kind of a some kind of a Walkman. All right, I've already started uh, losing my labeling system, so just forget that. I don't think we're going to keep up with that anyhow. Okay, so let's see. Um, all right, if I look straight on, actually, what I'm going to do, that's uh, not that one. I've just got so many images of this thing. I'm going to do some of this kind of stuff here. All right. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, so let's, let's just, let's hide these images. And let's just focus on that thing there. And I think, oh, geez, you think? And there's my screen cast he's gone. So temperamental, I hit one wrong button. Okay, what I want to do is I want to bring in um, a plane. I hope this is a good idea. Uh, about halfway, and that'll mark sort of where the cassette would sit. So we'll look from the front and go in wireframe. And here's what I'm thinking. If I could get it to be the right size, so it just fits inside and you don't see it poking through. Um, let's try that. It could be right there. And that's where the cassette would rest against. All right, so... Um, what to do well I want to bring in some other objects and I suppose it doesn't matter exactly where so um, yeah we're gonna make um, let's see that one doesn't show well in that one there's a piece there I'm gonna make that thing something like that anyhow I'm going to, um, by the way, I'm going to do something down here before I do that. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to uh, shift alt and click this and shift S cursor to select it. So bring my 3D cursor right in the middle of that thing. All right, that's what I wanted to do. Um, okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to bring in a circle. And I'm going to go for, um, I'll go for 16 vertices. Rotate Y90, scale down, I hope that's enough. Yeah, well, let's hope. Okay. I'm going to box select and get rid of these ones. So I have that piece there. Just want to have another look. So I'm making a, a circle, a half a circle, and then I'm going to extrude out on both sides, and then I'm going to copy it. So let's take these E and scale this in the Y, and then E and bring it down like that. Let's take that Shift D, rotate X, not Z, rotate X 180. I just don't know how big that's supposed to be. Well, I gotta have room for the dials. I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna go with something like that. All right, so I'll take those and F to make a face. F to make a face, and I can actually get rid of all these. So I'm gonna X dissolve vertices. So I have that. Now I'm gonna take these points and join them. F to make a face. And I'm gonna do that for all of these. Let's not do that. There we go. Okay, and now in edge selection, I'm going to select that edge and that edge. I have to make a face, select that one, and I can just press uh, F and it will finish it up for me. So that's what I have. I'm going to hit uh, E to extrude and give it a little bit of thickness. And uh, I'm going to 
bring some edge loops up tight here and down here and over to the side here and over to the side here shift H let's look at this alone uh, we're gonna be getting rid of the back faces actually so I don't know if uh, this is a front or back we can flip it though let's go X uh, faces let's look at that again bring everything back so what have I got rid of ah, I got rid of the wrong one sorry rotate Z 180 that's all right and let's put a subdivision surface on that so you get the sense of what it's starting to look like and let's uh, we could try now nah, we'll just bring in an edge loop to sharpen that up a little bit okay so it's gonna look like that hope that's nice enough on the other hand I could actually bring in an edge loop here and I think I might just do I one thing I want to have it like that I'm gonna focus on that again and uh, what I'm also going to do is now, yeah, now I'm going to shift alt and click here. So I've left a little space here that is, if I could actually bring that in a little tighter, not too tight. So now I can select all these faces and go all the way around. I'm going to hit E and alt S and I'm going to pull out like that. I may have to scale this in the Y a little bit too to make it a little bit balanced, not too much. Like that. And then I'm going to put another edge loop here. Just to sharpen that a bit. And another edge loop here. And maybe one more coming in. And I'll get this effect. It's not overly noticeable at this point, but hopefully we'll see, be able to see that at some point. Bring that all back, and uh, this would rest against that plane that we brought in. Like that. Now, it's possible that I want to bring that plane further to the front, around there. I also will want to take this, shift alt to click that edge, Control plus that edge and just pull this up so it's just inside. All right, so we got that going on. Let's set the origin of geometry on that guy. And uh, let's make sure those are hidden again. That's, that's all right, like that, yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to bring in a circle. I think I'll go for um, 18 vertices, scale it down, rotate Y90, bring it up, and make the little rollers. Okay. All right. So I'm going to hit E to extrude and pull it out. E and S and I pull it in and I'm going to make sort of my own design and come out actually I think I'm going to make that a little scale shift X a little smaller okay I'm going to come E I'm going to come out and I'm going to scale up E come out like this I think I'll scale in like that let's go E and S and then we'll grid fill it that gives me a little bit of room to bevel this there we go and now I can bevel I'll put just one segment in there and I'll try one subdivision might do it if I throw an edge loop in here and there that might be good enough a bit of an odd shape um, now what I was thinking I would do is let's just focus on that shift H Put one edge loop down here what I was thinking of now was just taking that and then leaving five spaces one two three four five and then get that one 
leave one, two, three, four, five, and then get that one. This should be one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay, like that. Just thinking of that, and then um, <clears throat> maybe I would just E and Alt S and bring it out. Might be all I would do. And then just sharpen it up with edge loops. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> and then I would do that. Maybe I would bring one down too. Such a small detail. So I'd bring one to the close to the surface. You can do whatever you want here. You can make it fancy or you can not. Did I do it again? I don't know what I'm hitting when I do that. My fingers sometimes hit the wrong key and shut off this, the screencast keys. You know, that's what I'm thinking of doing. Okay. Let's bring everything else back. And let's bring this down to earth here. be the exact thing but it's uh, it's something so that people would know all right so that's like a cassette player type thing right all right now is there anything else I want to do in here there is another region inside so maybe I'll try to do that skills at zero first of all to straighten that shift alt and click that skills at zero Let's take both of them and scale in the Z, give them some space. And then maybe what we would do is, in face selection, we would take um, maybe all this area here. Hit I to inset just a little bit. And then we would uh, maybe bring it back and then put edge loops. And it won't necessarily be rounded, but it'll be something. You know, it'll be a little in dead and it'll catch a little bit of light as well. Okay. <clears throat> I just feel like this should be up a little bit. All right, so I got that going on. Um, I think I need to cut this in half. We're actually not even quite in half. Maybe a little bit like that. Actually, looks like there's more on the front than on the back. So maybe more like this. I, I think I need to cut it. And that'll be more beneficial. So let's look uh, and let's do this. That and let's go P and separate it. So this is, um, I don't really need to label them, I guess. It gives me a little division already, actually. Let's bring everything else back and see how it's looking. Um, <clears throat> let's hide that. I think I would take this edge all the way around. I think it would E and S, just a little bit, and tighten that up. Okay, I don't even care whether it's even or not. Bring the other piece back, and I think I would do the same for that one. E and S, bring it in a little bit, tighten it up. I think it'll look a little bit better. Now, let's look in wireframe. Where's my stuff? Yeah, it's all right, okay. I was thinking I would...
What if I took that chunk? I don't miss anything. No. And add a solidify. Just like that. Just leave it like that. Okay. So that could be the battery compartment there. A little stylized, not perfect. And then we come back here and I've got a section here that I could use for the, um, where is it? The part that you, there, right there. You know, that kind of thing. It's not exactly right in the center of it relative to the whole thing. So I'm just gonna bring an edge loop down here. I'm gonna select this face. This is the one that I want. And I'm going to E to extrude and I'm going to pull it back in. And then I'm going to bring some edge loops up like this. And over to the side. Like this. Let's uh, turn off some division surface for the moment. I'm going to select that face and delete it. Let's put that back on. And let's have a look just at this. Come back in here. We're gonna put an edge loop down here. Like that. And I'm gonna bring another one down. And obviously we're gonna need a couple more here. Let's uh, sh uh, alt H, bring stuff back. And see how we've done. Put an edge loop in here and that'll tame that to some extent. Mm -hmm. Now we can try. and pull it in tighter it just looks a little might look a little bit better now if I do that do I need to do something with this no not really not really I'm just trying to decide if I want to have something on there I don't know what that is I'm not going to do this little stuff. I'm not going to do those. I mean, you could try, I suppose. That's not, I don't know that that's worth doing. So let's, um, <clears throat> let me just, uh, I want to see where, where this is located. Okay, I think that's probably all right. So let's uh, let's have a look at this in a different uh, a different view, maybe in a matte cap or like a metal like that. Yeah, all right. We could, if you wanted to, we could come in here and uh, I could put another edge loop here this one and just match it up a little bit and I could take this and uh, shifty and sharpen it like that maybe something we want to do on all of these I could go around and, and do that let's see if this one's uh, supporting anything I don't think it is Shifty and just pull. And here we have um, maybe we're missing an edge loop here. And then I'll do that here. You know, 
I could do some of that on my own without wasting a lot of your time. Let's uh, come back to just uh, this. I'll leave that. Um, for text, I don't really have, you know, I don't have the Sony font or anything, so uh, I'm just going to um, bring in some text. Okay, let's rotate Z90. Let's rotate Y90. Okie dokie, yeah, where's text? Here we go. Uh, geometry. A little bit of thickness. And let's also... Where is it? Uh, for the fill mode, let's just do front. Let's change this text. And I think I'm just going to use um, uh, this font, Agency. I know it doesn't really look like Sony. And uh, let's character sp increase the character spacing. And get it to say Sony. What happened there? Like that. Once again, it's not going to look exactly the same, but we'll just have some fun here. That's cool to do. No, 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 no. Come on out. Okay. So I'd have it do that. And then I would copy that down here. And I think I need a different different font for that one just whatever something else yeah that's something else we can do here Pretty much what I wanted to get done uh, in this in this video. Let's have one more look with that, like that. Hopefully, you know you would see that you'd recognize. Oh yeah, yeah, it's Walkman. Okay, and again uh, we could uh, work on this. You know, make it a little bit more balanced have an edge loop there and uh, do similar stuff along the top and we could, uh, we could sharpen that and we go through all that stuff but uh, I'm not gonna waste your time right now with that okay so that's gonna be the main case there um, put some glass in it and put a couple of bolts on the back there and then uh, we can just move over to to this part okay Cool, I like it.